Did you guys get the joke? First I did the five minute format. Then I did the one minute format, which means I don't need to do an hour. I can do the show in 15 minutes, five minutes, even a fucking minute if I can. But nonetheless, we're back to the 15 minute format. I like to switch things up. I like to play goofs. I like to play jokes. It's my show. I'll do what I want. Get your own show. We have eight clips to get to for the public freakout commentary. Let's get to it. This first one is pregnant woman blocked off because of protesters. I always thought about this. I said, what if there's, what if there's a woman pregnant? Or what if, what if somebody's dying? Or what if these people don't care? This is a guy yelling. I don't know if he's making this up. Or, you know, but he's, he's going around saying, there's a woman pregnant. And they're ignoring him. 58 seconds on TikTok. There's a fucking pregnant woman. Get the fuck out of here. And they don't care. They're like, yeah, just a second, sir. And the, and the guy kind of looks like Baked Alaska. You know what that is? He's a, a live streamer. He used to work for Vice. I don't know. We'll run him the fuck over then. Just run him the fuck over. Animals, get the fuck out of the way! <laughs> Someone just hit him in the head with something. These people don't care. Uh, this is uh, Millwall fans, boo players for taking the knee. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. Cooper, Wallace, then there's midfield two of Woods and Leonard. The midfield, the three of Jed Wallace, Ben Thompson, and Shane Ferguson Smith up top. Go through those subs again because. And they've got Frank Fielding. There it is. They're taking the knee. And there's the fans. Sean Williams, Alex Pierce, John Daddy Bavarton, Troy Parrott, Scalak, Alexander, Fury, and Muller. For Derby County, Marshall in goal. So I thought, I, 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 say, I wouldn't say soccer player fans are racist, but I thought some of those countries were racist. Guess not. But the fans are, and that's cool. Uh, this next one says, only in Atlanta. It's a bunch of hoes twerking. More of a visual... But a guy's doing commentary on it. They stop in the middle of traffic, and they're just they're twerking on top of the car. They're shaking their ass. So girls are not getting attention because the bar scenes are uh, closed. So I guess the hoes need their attention. So here it is. This was going on in Atlanta traffic at 4:15 a.m. So it's the, the girls are on Instagram. The one girl she's wearing like some sort of booty shorts. S is kind of eh, it's not bad. It's all right. It's not big, but it's you know. And she's on top. She's twerking. Now y'all see, right? 4.15 a.m. They from out of town. But do what they doing in Atlanta at 4.15 in the morning. Look at this chick. And the one chick stands on top of the car. She's doing like the split and everything. I'm doing some fast forward in here. They playing, y'all. Just spreading their coochie open. There you go. There's the woman of America. Now I just did a Tales from the Shit last night. This one says never fart in the elevator. Apparently somebody farted. And you can't get COVID through your butthole. And a bunch of people just... I don't know, let's play this. I didn't watch, the, I didn't watch it yet. So a, a woman's kicking somebody. There's a couple. The guy's pulling his chick away. She's kicking somebody. Wait, who farted? Oh, it's a guy. I was hoping it was a woman, but it was a guy. And a guy threw a punch at um, the guy... In the couple, and he hits the guy, the guy's friend instead of the guy. He says, "You hit a woman." He just hits the guy. The guy's covered his face. He knocks the guy and the woman over, and I think his friend's going to help the woman out, but the guy's pummeling the guy now. Can you believe this all happened over a fart? That's fucking amazing. I wish I had this before tells the shit, but hey, it's okay. And the guy's got the uh, other guy in the. The chick's coming over to help. The other now, the other chick's coming in to help. And the guy's getting sucker punched now by the guy's friends. This is amazing. All over a fart, folks. Did somebody get stabbed? Does somebody get stabbed? I look at a guy with a hammer doesn't care. He's not gonna call the cops, he's still gonna film and go, Did somebody get stabbed? Dude, I had the fucking fart, bro. I just had Taco Bell and Chipotle. You know what that shit's like? You gotta let it out, man. (laughs) 
so the fight's pretty much over. But man, that's amazing. A fight over a fart. Folks, we've done it. Uh, this next one says, Disgruntled worker perpetrates war crimes against helpless blue baskets. I don't know what that means, but I think it's a guy making fun of women. Women? Women? What do you call those cunts? Um, he's, he's, um, he's making fun of one of his female co-workers for can't, for, cause she can't pick up some baskets. And I appreciate this guy for doing this because I work with a bunch of cunts right now, as you guys know. And apparently women can't lift anything, but they want equal pay. We all know that. So here it is. There's only 24 seconds. So he's pretending he can't pick the baskets up. It's a fat Hispanic guy. We are done! I am never calling you back! Come on, Michael! We're getting married! There! So he's making fun of somebody, but hey, I appreciate the effort. This next is my favorite clip I played in a while. It's a kid on TikTok. I'm not sure if he actually got stood up. In the video, this is only 15 seconds. He claims he got stood up by a date. He's in the movie theater. He just starts yelling and cursing. He says, fuck this shit. And then it's like, hey, man, I'm here with my kids. Now, I'm not sure if this is a goof or not, but regardless, this is my favorite clip. This is amazing. Here it is. Dude, I'm already so far in the movie, and my my date's not even showing up, bro. This sucks. That's it. Now, I've been stood up before, but see, this kid's an idiot. You don't wait more than 15, 20 minutes, all right? Even I didn't do that. The cunts didn't show up. In 15 and 20 minutes, that was it. Even though I did get stood up twice. Let's play this over again. Sorry, I was busy yapping. Dude, I'm already so far in the movie and my my date's not even showing up, bro. This sucks. That's it, I'm fucking done. Hey, this movie fucking sucks! <laughs> and then he, he has the nerve to show the camera. There's, uh, there's only six pe- four, five people in this theater. Let's play that back one more time since it's such a short clip. That's it, I'm fucking done. Hey, this movie fucking sucks! Hey, man, kids in the- Hey, fuck your kid! Hey, uh, that, that's it. What are you gonna do, pussy? Oh, shit. Now, it's possible that that was his friends. If it was, it's still a funny sketch, but let's play it one more time. That's it, I'm fucking done. Hey, this movie fucking sucks! Hey, man, kids in the- Hey, fuck your kid! Hey, uh, that, that's it. What are you gonna do, pussy? Oh, shit. <laughs> He just runs out. Now, what if that's fake or not? That's my favorite clip. Uh, this next one says, Lady gets kicked out of PetSmart for not wearing a mask. Oh my god, I'm surprised they didn't call her a Karen. I thought that's what they did with white women. They called them Karens. Oh, she's a lady now? Okay. Well, here it is. She's wearing a goofy... She's got kind of a, a flatso body. Uh, she's got like a, She's wearing like a belly shirt, but she's got an actual belly. But, you know, all women think they're tens. All women. Here it is. <laughs> So she comes in the store with a dog and she's filming people because they're filming her. I am. I am. So get back for me. So the guy's saying stand six feet back, but she's like, you're close to me. That is a good point, but you're getting kicked out either way, cunt. I'm not in your office. Don't underestimate me. Can I get tag made for my dog, please? Stay away from me. Stay away from me? I'm going to stay... Thank you. Do you see this? Mm-hmm. Do you see this? She kind of looks like Kelly Osborne. I'm not joking. She looks exactly like Kelly Osborne if she had longer hair. Do you see her? I'm just trying to get... Put a mask out. on. Put a mask on. Put a mask on. I have asthma. There's a pandemic. She is wearing a mask already. She's a robot. Damn it. I have asthma. Put a mask on. Oh or my, get out of the store. That's oh their God, rules. I'm getting kicked out. Yeah. Well, this is all recorded. <laughs> Great. I'm getting kicked out. Don't underestimate me. What does that mean? For my dog, no. Do you see her? I'm just trying to get. Put care. a mask on. Put a mask on. Put a mask. Kicked out? Yeah. Well, this is all recorded. Okay, so this, this looped it again. And this last one, this is good old fashioned white people racism. Uh, gas station employee gets fired after telling customers to go back to their country. This guy, he kind of looks like the Lebowski guy. Uh, beard, long blonde hair. Looks like he works in a bowling alley. Uh, he says, my family gets racially harassed at a mobile gas station in Naperville, Illinois. Here it is, folks. Only 40 seconds. Ooh. In? A lot. In? 
I'm an American. And? What is the What's problem? Going? It's illegal. Not, it's not a, illegal. It is. Uh, what are you talking what is about? Your problem? What, what is your problem? Are you a citizen? Yes. What is your problem? So don't you know the rules? What is your problem? What is your problem? They need to go back to their country. Why? Oh my God. I can't believe this guy would tell them that. That's terrible. In America, we let anybody come over here. Anybody can just sneak over here and get health insurance and a job. We know that. It's America. Anybody can just come on. Everybody come over. It's illegal. You don't you, care. You be quiet. You, you don't care. Is, you, so you, you are I so call the police. You I don't care. Oh, what I hate fuck? you. Ice will come. I hate you. Bye. God bless you. Stupid. God bless you too. Stupid. God bless you too. Country. Well, she was nice. She blessed them. Well, folks... This god-awful podcast is back to 15 minutes. I was just goofing around. I like pissing people off. I'm pretty sure there's a few butthurt idiots. <laughs> I don't think anybody cares about this dumb show anyways. Go do your own show. Well, anyways, uh, we'll wrap this up with some odd news. This is your favorite podcast show that most people will not listen to. And uh, it's the first but yet one of the worst podcasts in Philly. And I'm just being modest because there's a lot of shitty podcasts out there. And uh, that's that. All right. So uh, quit your crying and uh, quit being a fucking cunt. All right. You stay put there, fuckos. All right. So we got a couple minutes left there to wrap up the show. You guys saw I did a Tales from the Shit. I did a prank call episode. I played a video game, even though that's not even content. That's just me just sitting there like a jerk off. But you guys know I try to create as much content as I can before I go back to the depressing work week, which unfortunately I have to tomorrow. But anyways... Let's wrap this up with some odd news. We can take our time here a little bit. Florida street racing suspect blares cops theme song during traffic stop. Well, that's a that's not just for the cop show. That's just a good. NBA suspends random marijuana testing for the 2021 season. That's not odd at all. Also, Mike Tyson smoked weed before his fight. That's just I mean he's retired. Who cares? It says, Shively Mayor accused of a DUI crash after falling asleep in a White Castle drive through Damn, that's so fucking gangster. And I hope that's true. Woman killed her husband and stabbed her own cunt to claim self-defense. Man, put that on the MGTOW channel. That's uh, pretty harsh. I can't imagine. A imagine a guy killing his wife and then cutting his dick off. I don't think any guy would do that. That's got to be a broad thing. Only a broad would do that. Uh, naked stranger, feces covered walls, found inside a Tennessee home. That's uh, pretty gross. 10,000 free McRibs offered to people who sh shave and show their hairless face. I remember having the McRib many years ago. I don't like the onions on the McRib. I don't think, I, I don't like raw onions on anything. It says British community becomes the third person in 90 years to solve a difficult Literary puzzle. Weaker penis bones in river otters linked to oil sands condiments in a new study. So these news stories, they're pretty out there, I guess. Uh, internet users react as man returns money lady mistakenly sent them. And people do do that. That's not too crazy. I mean, it just depends if you're a good, honest person or not. Doesn't Most people are not good, honest people. That's why they're reacting that way. Most people say, shit, motherfucker. I will take that money. Oh, yeah, the the, YouTube, the story I did with the guy who sued Twitch, he lost. The guy who sued Twitch for uh, manipulating his genitals. That sucks. Oregon man sues, alleged he went to the doctor for distress over mortal, uh, marital woes, only to find a physician was having an affair with his wife. Now, that's the oddest fucking news story you can find. Possibly have, folks. That's the end of the show. We're back to the 15-minute format, so don't try to cry too much on your own cock. And that's it for that. I'll see you, folks, in the next one. You just listened to... Eh, we're out of here. Congratulations. You just sat through the most awful podcast you can sit through. Josh Cast.